Try the puff of smoke there. There we go. That's more like it. Here's a place where they've been shelling some corn. Actually, my dad was shelling corn at the place in the last video, and he actually had to quit because the corn got too wet. It, it was running around 22, then it started getting up in a 25. I'll tell you what I would like to have. I would like to have those two John Deere 9620 RXs that are sitting back there. Here's another field south of Monroe City that's been harvested. Looks like somebody's having some engine trouble. Well, that truck was an international truck, go figure. Now here, right on the edge of Monroe City, there's been some beans that have been cut. They're unloading an auger wagon over there. We got a full one and then uh, two New Holland, I think those are 40 foot drapers. Now here's more of the same guys that were up the road. They've got two John Deere S series combines and a uh, J and M grain cart behind a John Deere uh, 9R. It'll be a couple weeks before we cut any beans though. We didn't we didn't get anything planted overly early as far as beans go. Now I'm at the old house. I'm gonna run both of these tractors for a little while here just because it is good for them to be run, especially that one since it has a pony motor. And those are known to be a little bit more finicky than an electric an electric start like this this one. Well, folks, it is official. This tractor is going to be receiving a 12 volt electric start conversion because I just ran the pony motor and then it decided not to run anymore. I'd rather spend $1,500 and have a tractor that actually starts up when you need it to. This 24 volt electric start is, the 24 volts kind of a pain, but this thing starts up every time. It's just too easy with an electric start. My 30 inch beans are really starting to turn now. There's an old boy with his 1086 and a little loader mowing some hay. I am not a hay or cattle man by any means, but I'm pretty sure everyone now is doing third cutting if they're doing a third cutting at all. Or maybe it's fourth. Beats me, I don't do cows. We are finally in the field. Corn just, like freshly harvested corn, just has the sweetest smell to it. If, you ever, if you've been around a farm, you know what I'm talking about. Like Wreck-It Rob is finally back with the truck. I think that's like a 40 foot uh, Tempty trailer. They're actually pretty nice. Now it is time. I'm kind of excited, I won't lie. Yep, she's pretty nice. All right, let's get back to work. Nice little smoke cloud there. Here comes dad. I like to go kind of fast with the field. We're driving in 15th gear right now. These tracks are really nice. Can't even tell it's back there. It's going pretty smooth so far. This new unload auger on the combine is like two feet longer and it's just it's just a little bit of a hassle, but it, the two feet helps out when you have a 40 foot draper on the front of it instead of a 30 foot corn head. I just got out of the cab real quick to check my tire pressure, which is metric for I had to go pee. And we're gonna get some action shots of the combine here. When the unload auger comes out, that means that the cart operator, such as myself, needs to get there ASAP. I think now we're gonna go over to this 30 acre field that's back over there. It's kind of weird shaped. All right, dad's little pit stop is over. So now he's going to get back to work in the far field over there. Now we're getting ready to do one of my favorite things in the whole world. Drive a tractor through the field in almost road gear. We'll just air quote that because no one's ever actually drove 26 miles an hour in the field. P.S. Yes, actually we have. Don't tell dad. And dad, if you're watching this, you didn't see the last 10 seconds. A little 
recreational dinosaur burning. We have reached a little hang up. The uh, gates are a little narrow for a 30 foot corn head, but I think, yeah, oh yeah, dad's got to figure out now. He had to hook in around that big post right there to get in. So if you're gonna put in gates, make them wider than they need to be. It makes stuff like this a lot easier and less of a pain. So dad gonna load some corn on me, but there's one problem. There's a fence right there. So we have a solution for this. Fence, combine, auger, auger wagon. No problem. I think after this dump, I'm gonna have a load. Dad just radioed me and he said to, uh, let him let him work a little bit here and make a little bit more space to turn around because these tracks are not very conducive for tight turns. I mean, sure you can do it, but you're gonna tear the tracks up pretty quick if you uh, constantly whip it around like in a 60 foot radius like we did with the old one. 60 feet, that, that was pretty pretty generous for how, how wide it took to turn that thing around. It was more like 70. A couple times I had to run over some rows of corn in the middle of the field because there just wasn't enough space to turn around. Yep, let her eat. Hey Chase. I hope nobody saw that because I just fell from the second step into a hole right there and then I fell over. So that's kind of nice. Oh man. Okay, this this right here is the problem. You see, this is ground and then there's like an eight, eight inch deep washout right there. Ouch. Now we finally got into the good running where I can just run beside the combine. And then at the end of every row, you go back to the start of the field and you wait for them again. Really not a whole lot to it other than to do it. Here's a view from the combine side of things. Use an auto steer on the corn head so I don't have to worry about watching where I'm going. Not sure about the unload rate on this combine. It's probably some of the area, three bushel a second. Does not take very long to unload at all. So we get the puff of smoke. Oh, that was lame. Usually we get more than that. Say 12 row heads, we're taking 30 feet at a time. Really good corn here today. Making it hard for the truck drivers to keep up. Well, I had to sit and wait for like 45 seconds, a minute, for the uh, truck to show up. He's coming right there, right there down the blacktop, and we're gonna get him loaded up. Uh, if you've noticed, the only kind of semi trucks that we have here on Goldinger Farms are freight liners or freight shakers, as the Peterbilt and Kenworth people like to call them. All right, the next time, next pass, this one should have enough to fill him up. I right, put about a thousand bushel on there. It's supposed to hold 1,200. If it was dry corn, it probably would. Probably this wetter corn, not quite doing that, but still holding a thousand without any trouble. Again, a view from the inside in the yarder. Yeah, we're gonna be close. We're almost out of corn. Okay. Perfect. Try the puff of smoke there. There we go. That's more like it. Dad probably thinks I'm crazy. I've taken like four different pictures for the thumbnail and I can't decide which one I like. <laughs> Here, well, I've got a little bit of downtime since we're in some pretty short kind of roads. I'm going to clean the camera because you really can't see a whole lot out of it right now. Yeah, I think that tomorrow I'm going to bring my rifle because there's a little bunny wabbit running around back there and uh, relieve them of the burden of life. Let's see if we can get a little bit of the uh, dinosaur burning footage. Yeah, there we go. One, two, there's the third rabbit over there somewhere.
Yeah, your job may be cool, but do you get to be around equipment like this all day? I don't think so. We've just got a little bit left in this field, and then Dad said we're going to call it quits for tonight because the next place we got to go is like 35 acres, and it would just be a pain to get up there and only show a little bit of corn. Don't you just hate it when slow people drive in the left lane? We're just gonna pass him, see what he thinks of that. Also, thank you to everyone who watched the last video. That one has done way better than any of my other videos combined. And hopefully we can get this one up there too. Let's keep it up, because someday we're gonna be big. We're gonna get there someday. Till then, you gotta deal with what we have, I guess. So if you made it this far, ooh, cool combine view. But if you made it this far, might as well subscribe, right? Or like, like the video, or drop a comment if you've got a question for me. And I will catch you all on the next one.